Okay, everybody, so we finished doing, again, this round. And we're going to do one more of the white. The same way as we did uh, the previous one. But, hold on a minute. We are going to add on the corner here. So, we're going to put another one in here okay and another one on the same place we need to add before it starts curving up and then we'll do one and two and three so we're just gonna add where on the six um, on the six groups that we had added so we have it here, so we're going to add it, we're going to add it right here. So you know that we're going to be adding, okay, now we, we added here, so we're not adding here. Okay, so one, two, it's like, um, actually, let me just see a minute, one, two, three. On your fourth one, one, two, three, on the fourth one. Okay. So we're doing single stitches here. So we're going to be doing, okay, one going up, two, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, 14, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, okay, so we have, let me just calculate people, hold on a minute, so we go up 1, we do 2, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, so on your 14, you add another 1, again, one, two, three, four, five, six, Six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, and fourteen. So we're going to add another one here. So that's the second add. So we have four more adds to do. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. 10, 11, let's pull my thread, 12, 13, 14, 
and one more in this one. So on your 14, you make it an extra one inside the same one. Okay, so because we're doing the we're doing the edge here, okay? So now you you count again one, two, three, four until fourteen and add another one. And this is the third one. So we have three more to add. Three more times, okay? So I've come to the 14, and I've just added on the 14, I made another one. So that's four adds. Now we have two more adds. I'm going to count 14 and add again. I'll be back. So I counted 14. We add another one. So it becomes two in the same one. And we have just one more add. And then we're done with the six times adding. And then we continue the regular stitch until the end. We're going to do the same thing on the other side. So you're going to count, you're going to start where the adding is, where we always add it. And you, you add there. Actually, uh, yes, you do. You go up one and then you add. And then you count 14. And then you add on your 14, you add one more. So you have to do the same thing on this side. So I've counted again the 14 and added one more. Now if you look, it becomes right across. So if you can see it this way, hold on a minute. No, it won't go any, any down. Okay, so anyway, it comes right across from it. We're going to do the other side. Okay, everybody. So we pretty much came to the corner, the other corner. And as if you can see here, I'll try to pull that up. You can see here, this is where we have the two stitches together, right? We have the two stitches together. So I'm pretty much, I went up. And I put the stitches together, and I just get it right here. So I started from here. Oop, I think you're too close up. So, and then I counted the 14. And then on the 14th, I added one more. And I'm going to count 14 again. So we're going to do that six times because it's six groups of twos. And then I'll meet you at the end of the final round here. Okay, everybody. So we pretty much did the third row of white. I'm going to cut my yarn. I'm going to tie it up. I'm going to hide it a bit here and there. And since I have two of them, I'll put one on one side. And it's good for you to learn if, if you're ever doing two, then you know that you can split them and like this. You're sure that they're not going to come apart. Tying it up, going through some. Okay, on to the next color, which I'm going to try for this green and see how it looks. 
Okay, everybody. So I grabbed the green. I've tied in. And I'm going to go up one, two, three, four, five, six, and seven. Now, I'm going to turn. We're going to go back one, two, and three. On the third one, we're going to do a regular stitch on the same place. We're going to do another one. So <clears throat> it's three, three per, per loop. So next loop, we're going to do three. We're going to make those little rose butts, but these ones will still be like green. And the next row, we're going to do one blue. So three inside of here. We're going to make two green ones as if they're just um, riping, you know, like they're still green. They're going to come out and change color. That's the vision that I get. So three here. Hopefully this is going to work out. My mind is always imagining a lot of different ways and I try many different ways. Like just before I started recording now, I tried three different ways and took it down. So now it is what it is. Okay, so three. So we have three on all of them. So you know this is going to turn. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to the next one. Let's see if I can get you closer. And like I said, don't mind my middle finger because as you can see up here, it's still bruised. It's, it's a growing nail bruised and I didn't want to cut it yet. Okay, so on the next one, we're just going to lock it in. We'll fix the thread afterwards. And now I'm going to do one, two, three, four, and five stitch. And see if this works out. I'm going to go right. Maybe I need to. I did five stitch. And of course, I put it right where the it starts to chew together. And I'm going to go in here in the middle of that bottom flower there. And one, two, three, four, five stitch. And I'm going to skip one, two, one, two, and three. So I'm going to go on the third one here and I'm going to lock it up like that. I'm going to do one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And then one, two, three on your third place. We're going to do again the three um, stitches together on the same place. Another one. Very simple to make. Next stitch loop. Three inside the same place. One, two, and three. Next loop. One, two, and three. Next loop. One, two. And I should have tied this one here, but okay, I'll do it to this one. Doesn't matter. One won't make a difference, but I'll show you what I'm doing next to tie it in so they don't move. So they stay in place and we don't have to go back and, and stitch. Because then it's like double the work. Okay. So now we got this one. Now we want to make sure that well, this one's not going to go anywhere anyway. We want to make sure that they stay like this. Little tricks, you know. So make sure you put them well together. Like that. And then it would be like one, two on your third one. But 
turn them, fix them a bit so you can stitch it in already uh, with them turned. And then hold it with your finger. And then you count. Uh, well, actually, it's the next one. So grab it from down here, from the back. Grab it from the back. And then just go in and pull your stitch out and stitch it in like that. Should have done to this one, but I didn't, but it's okay. So they can turn faced us like that. And then the next row, I'm going to have a blue one. The, um, the multicolored. I'm going to have it right in the middle. If it looks good. If not, then I'm probably going to put a multicolored yellow or something. But we'll see. Okay. Anyway, so now we go back. One. Two. Three. Four. Five. Six. Seven. I don't want them two together. So we'll do, we'll skip one. And we'll go to the next one. I think that's what I'll do. So we have, so being here, that means I would have to start it here, right? You see, it falls right in the middle. Let me get you closer. See, it falls right in the middle, the stitch right here. Well, we're going to add it here, just the one before. So we have one, two, three. Three, four, five, six, seven. We'll do it on the eighth one. I'm going to grab both so the flower can stay still together. And one, two, three, four, five, five, six, and seven. And then we're going to go back one, two, and three space. And One more in the same place. So that's three. Go to your next loop in the middle and put three. Next loop. And three. Next loop. So very simple, nothing to it. We're almost at the end, people. So here's the finishing touches that's, you know, the most important that give that charm to the pattern it's not really the beginning that gives a charm I mean, everything is nice but it's not the vocal point is not on the beginning it should be on everything but especially at the end because the end is what's going to give that glow okay so now we're going to turn our, flo our flower if we can Turn it well. I have to, yeah. Even if you have to, like, take out your needle to place it like that, grab it, grab it from here into the next space, bring out here, and tie it up. And this is going to be facing us with this poor thing. But you know what I'm going to do? Once I come with the stitch here, I'm going to fix it. I'm going to stitch it so it can stay like this. Okay. So one, two, three, four, and five. And then we come back down into the middle here. And, and then one, two, three, four, and five. And then... We're going to skip, how many did we skip? Three, I think. One, two, yeah, on the third one. Okay, so one, two, on the third one. We're going to lock it in. I think that's what it was. One, two, and three, yeah. And then one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And again, you come on your third one. One, two, 
three. One, two, and three. And the same thing. We want something different, so I don't want to be creating what everybody else is, is creating, everybody else is copying, everybody else is doing the same thing. I have a different vision, I guess. I want something that people are going to remember me by and say, oh my God, you know that girl Maggie for she got all the way from Portugal? Wow, she creates these beautiful things, you know. Check her channel, let's learn, let's do it. And it goes on and on and on. Anyway, so we're going to turn our, even if we have to take out the needle and make it all pretty and turn it like that. Let me see what's going to give it some. <clears throat> okay. And then we're going to grab it from here. And we go into the next one and we'll lock it in. I think it's pretty. Let me see. I think once we have the the other one into the um the blue one up here, it's gonna be right in the center or yellow. Not sure yet. We'll see as I go. I think it's going to look really nice. It gives it a, a whole different dimension. And I might just add a little flower here. Um, I might just add a little flower here too. with Maybe a couple of leaves on this side and then on the other side. Anyway, we'll see as we go. So again, how many did we count here? I can't even remember. I'm going with the flow. So we did, oh, eight. That's right. Okay, so we're going to do one, two, oh, three, nope, I'm not grabbing that loops, not good. Okay, so one, two, three, four, five. Six, seven, and eight. And look at that. Boy, am I ever good with calculation sometimes. Not all the time, but sometimes. Look. And we're doing it, the one before. Remember, we just did on that one. So it's eight. I was just, my goodness, I didn't even calculate, like, exactly uh, how, how many stitches apart. I just took a random uh, chance, if you want to put it. I think it's going to look pretty. Okay, so let me chew at the end, people. So you know, eight, and then do your, your seven stitch. Three on each. Roll it. Actually, come, yeah, roll it, tie it in, come down five stitch. Lock it in the middle of your flower down here and five going up. And then seven again, three on each, roll your flower and tie it in. Eight separation again. So if you need me to do one more time, I'll do one more time just to make sure. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And we go on the third one which I don't think I have the third one. I think I took the second one. Okay, so one, two, yeah, three. And we're gonna do three, the next one. One, two, and three. One, two, 
23. And then the next one. One. Two. And three. And the last one, I believe. It's a little bit tied up, but we'll manage. One, two, and three. I'm going to turn it like that. We're going to lock it in into the next one. Go through here, bring it out, and lock it in, and then. Gotta be, oh, that's fine. One, two, three, four, five. I'm gonna come to the middle. One, two, three, four, five. And we're gonna count to three. One, two, and three space. I'm going to grab both loops just to make sure that they stay secure. And one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and back down. Two, three. One, two, and three. One, two, and three. One, two, and three, and again, two, and three, and one more, the last one, one, two, and three. We're going to turn it like that. Get a little bit more fixed here. And we're going to just grab any loop from back here, a little bit of them, just so we can have it to stay in place. If I can get my needle through it. And the next one, as you can see, sorry, I was off camera. All right, so we're not going to do the same stitch. We do the stitch right next to it. Like that. And then we grab the back loop. One, two, three, four, five. Six, seven, and eight. Perfect. Okay. Let's get it together here. And this is what it's going to look like. Once it's all settled in and we put the top stitch in, it's just going to be perfect. Like that. Don't have to worry. If I have to hot glue it a bit, then I will. Okay, so I'll meet you at the end. Okay, everybody. So we did uh, the round little buds here. And because we are on the sides, I don't want it to furl up too much. So I'm going to separate them a bit. We did eight. Now, I'm going to, instead of skipping one, 
I'm going to skip two. So I did 12 separations and I'm going to do that until we come to the next two um, stitches here at the beginning of the curve. So we're going to skip um, depending. I mean, you see how it goes if your stitch is too tight or too loose. But I'm going to skip two of them and I'm going to do like um, one or two before the middle piece. So the line will go straight uh, across and then do my thing and then go up the other way. So even if the even if the stems are a little bit separated, it doesn't matter. It will look nice because at least it will give that uh, stem separation. Okay, so we'll do it that way. And uh, as far as the corner here, so I had one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So I have ten of these done. So I'm gonna I'm gonna start the uh, small stitch, the twelve. Depending on how my stitches are here, it could be 12, like this one is 12, but the next one could be 10 or 11. It doesn't matter, it's not going to change much. It's just going to give it a bit separation on the, the petals. I don't want them too crunched up. Okay, so I'll see you at the end. Okay, everybody, so I've come up now with this design. Of course, I'm always coming up with something. So I wanted to put a collar that can throw it completely into a different contrast but make it very uh, delicate not a heavy bang in your face color but it's still going to bang you in a good way to cut from the blues and the greens give it a little bit of spark so what I did was I didn't want it to be just pink I wanted to give it a little bit of yellow so I'm using two threads, one of yellow and one of pink. The yellow is number six and number four pink. So I mix them together. Now I'm going through these little loops here in the back where the white is because I don't want to take away from the green up here. So I'm pretty much making just small stitches in the back. So it's going to give it like a second border, as you can see, from the back. And I'm going through every little loop back here. Now when you come to the middle here, I go into the first one here between the, the two um, little flowers and I do the regular one two three four five six and seven and then do the regular uh, flower uh, flower bud there or flower whatever you want to call it so three on each loop as we did the green ones nothing changes and I make sure that I grab both colors. It's very difficult to work with two colors because one always jumps away from the other, but we manage somehow. Okay, so we're going to do three on each loop as usual. And I got to wait again. So I got it. One, two, and three. It's going to give it that nice soft pattern. Nothing heavy. That's going to cut down a bit of the, the blue. So it can give it some charm to it. Okay, so now we've, we've done our palette. Now, I'm going to go in between here, on this side and on the other side of the flower. And I'm going to just stick it on here 
and lock it in so it can stay in place and not move. And then I am going to go back into these loops back here on the white and just give it small stitch all the way through. So very simple, nothing to it. Not complicated at all. And basically the white uh, loop that we're grabbing from back here is the one that we grabbed from the green. Okay, so as you can see, it's like right back here. It's the first loop. And I'm going to go into the middle of the next two flowers. So just like that. And when you get to the middle here, so I'm going in the back, going in the front. So we grab the first one because we had we had jumped one, two, and we did it on the third. So you grab the first one that's empty. There's only one more empty. This is where you're going to lock in once you finish your flower. So one, two, three, four, five, six, and seven. And we repeat the whole thing again. Three per, per loop. And that's it, nothing to it. So it's going to be repeatedly all the way around the same way. And I'll meet you at the end. So you grab the other loop that's empty and we lock in. And then we go through the back loops again. Okay, so nothing to it, people. Meet you at the end. Okay, everybody, so we pretty much finished doing the flowers. I've grabbed the white. I've locked in my first uh, loop here right after the flower and I'm gonna go up one two and I'm gonna continue and it's just gonna be regular stitch all the way around nothing to it just like that all the way around meet you at the end now when you get to the flower you're just gonna jump right over to the next back loop just like that so nothing to it you do on every single one of them in the back loop and jump the flower from one end to the other. So you're just going to leave this part here out like that. This has been a real challenge. Most of them are. I like challenges, but sometimes it can get very frustrating when the stitch does not fit into the right places. I had to take down five times this pattern to figure out, and then once I was happy with it, that's when I started re-recording again, 
and it happens quite often. This is how we create these patterns is by doing and taking it down and doing it and taking it down. Sometimes I'm lucky I get it all in one shot and sometimes I'm not lucky and I have to take it down quite a bit. But that's part of creating patterns. So we're almost at the end, people. I think it's going to look gorgeous. Okay, meet you at the end. Okay, everybody, so we've come to the end. Just a little reminder, in between the flowers, don't forget, there's stitches that will be 12, there's stitches that will be 11, there's stitches that will be 14. It's all going to end up fine at the end, so don't worry about that. We're going to do one more row of white stitches, just so we can outstand the flowers we just finished making. I think it will look best instead of just one row of white. So we're going to have two rows of white. I think it's much, it will be much nicer this way. So nothing to it. We're just going to repeat the same thing as we finished doing. We're going to do one row of white regular stitch on the back loop only. Stitch over stitch, nothing to it, very simple. And I think it's just going to um, outstand the flower more instead of just one row of white. Before we finish the row in blue, that's how we're going to end up. And then pretty much almost done. So we have like about, without this row, we have about three more rows to go. We're going to have one of green. So basically we're going to repeat this at the end. So we're going to have that um, and that. And then uh, close it up with small stitch with little pom-pom. I'll show you when we get to the end. So we can all match together and look beautiful. So this is what it's going to look like. I think it's going to look gorgeous. So continue yours and I'll continue mine. Okay, everybody. So basically we're going to go back and do this row over here because then we're going to do the mixed blue. And we're almost done. this okay so we're gonna go in here like well we had started all our stitches more or less in the middle and trying to hide my yarn that thread here one two three One more, so two, two separation, and two more in the same place. So it's going to be exactly the same thing as we did in the bottom here. Nothing different. Um, we're going to, we're going to do one, two, three, hold on, one, two, three, four. And then we're going to do five, one, two, three, four. Let's try five. If it pulls too much, I'll give us a one stitch separation. If it doesn't, we'll keep it that way. I'm sure that during the, the curve, we're probably going to have to give one stitch separation. So two separation here in the middle. And one, two, three, four, and I'm going to go in the fifth. So I think it's still looking pretty good. But if your stitch is overly tight, then give one stitch separation up top. Because we don't want it to be crumpling up. One, two, three, four. 
four and four. Okay, one, two, three, four, and five. This is where the curve begins. So I probably am gonna have to give one stitch separation. I'll see as I go. I don't want it to cramp up over here. So I'm not gonna tighten it too much so it doesn't cramp up on me. Five. And like I said, if it's needed to give one stitch separation between between them, then we'll do it because we don't want it to be like, you know, pulling. So I'll continue yours, I'll continue mine. And if you need to give one stitch separation here, here, then you do it. And this is what we're going to do all the way to the end. Okay. So nothing to it. Let's see what it looks like on here. It's not pulling. No, it's not pulling. It's just perfect. So I'll meet you at the end. Okay, everybody, like I said, at the corner, um, we absolutely, I absolutely have to give one stitch separation, so that's what I did. I think the edges on the side, we will need to, but as we're turning, it's pulling. So we need to give one stitch separation, so we'll do that one stitch separation. So, and then one, two, three, four, and five. And we should be okay. Okay, so I'll meet you at the end. This should go all the way until the beginning here. And then no stitch separation. Just for the, the curve, we'll give one. Okay, everybody, so I've changed color. Now we're going to do the same thing as we did here. But we're not doing the pom-pom. I'm going to do the pom-pom with this color. Let me check the end. Okay everybody, so this is the last row. And we're just gonna do the pom-poms everywhere. So we we can grab any any flower here. And we're gonna go in the middle. One, two, three, and do the pom pom. Next one. One, two, three, and pom pom. So we're going to have three like we had on the bottom one. Nothing changes. The only difference is that with this one here, we did automatically the pom pom. This one we're just doing the the closing. Okay, so let me see how this is gonna work. Then we'll do the other one here. Okay. So we're gonna go directly in here. And try something else. I have to like it because if I don't, then this is not going to happen. Okay, I'm going to lock it in over here. And then I'm going to go in the center here. Let me see. I think that's better. Okay, so we don't need to do separation. One, two, and three. And lock it in. One, two, and three. So very simple, nothing to it. And I'm going to go back inside and just pull it out. So we can have that pom-pom from there. Like that. I think this looks nicer this way. I'm going to center and repeat everything a little. One, two, three. 
So this is about it for this pattern. It was a pleasurable one. She wanted turquoise, that's the color she had chosen, to remind her of the ocean, the sea. I think this pretty much will remind her of the ocean, the sea. And that's as close as to the ocean as I can get into the color. So this is what it's going to look like. I'm going to finish mine. You can finish yours. I'm going to have the reveal shots and a little video at the end. I thank you so much, everybody, for joining me to make this beautiful pattern. And thank you again for your likes, shares, your comments. For the newcomers, I hope you subscribe, help uh, grow the channel. Don't forget to hit that bell notification for new uploads. And uh, a little message for my beautiful cousin, Tanya. Tanya, I hope you enjoy this pattern. This is, to me, it's absolutely gorgeous, of course. And I miss you very much. Much love, hugs to you, to the children. Hello to your husband. And hopefully you'll come down and visit me one of these days. So thank you so much, everybody. And lots of hugs, lots of kisses to you, uh, Tanya. And everybody, please stay safe. Thank you so much, everyone. Until next time. Bye-bye.